showing Paul the red light therapy. What do you think, Paul? Oh, this thing is awesome, man. You have to try it out, man. I get know. I'm going to need to get one for myself. <laughs>Fellow motorcyclist with me and actually I want to take credit because I think I got you to do it <laughs> yeah um, but he's also a carnivore what up? how long have you been a carnivore Paul since February okay February 1st okay and what is your experience on the diet like have you noticed any mm. physical improvements like mm -hmm. what has it done for you I would say the biggest difference I noticed I've been on car uh, keto before going on carnivore the biggest difference was the strength gains in the gym Okay, so you did see yourself getting stronger. Yeah. Yeah? You just naturally feel a lot <laughs> just stronger and have more energy almost. Okay. I also cut out, you know, coffee and caffeine in order to get into true carnivore. Um, I'm back on it right now, which I plan to wean off again. But being off of caffeine and being on carnivore, that symbiotic, like, combination just improved my sleep quality so, so much. Nice. My skin also got, like, a lot better I would, carnivore. I would definitely say skin a for ton, sure. Yeah. Like, I feel like skin is such a reflection of your overall, like, body's right. response. Because mm -hmm. of all these, like, for, like, example, eczema and, like, these other sort of mm -hmm. issues people have. They're, like, autoimmune. Right. And when you're on carnivore, like, I mean, look at my skin. You can kind of see it's pretty clear. Like, I don't have a lot of stuff. And I get, like, frequently asked, like, what do you do? And I'm like, I just don't eat stuff that, like, triggers my skin. <laughs> yeah. Dairy, for sure, was, like, a big one. Dairy, for sure. Oh, like, my God. anything with dairy. Was, I would definitely highly recommend anyone who does dairy to test just a month of what it feels like. So, they gotta get rid of the it. chocolate. Right. The, the, the butter. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. All that good stuff. <laughs> you have to, man. If you want to feel good. So, we're gonna go to the farmer's market. We just shot that video about that, and uh, I'm gonna show him where you can get grass-fed organ meats, uh, duck eggs, mm -hmm. which are gold mine. Yeah, so no, don't tell sure. anyone else. <laughs> don't be buying duck eggs <laughs> here in Austin if you follow this video. <laughs> I've been talking about uh, fasting and how the one meal a day affected my testosterone, so we're gonna have a snack, and I'm gonna show Paul raw liver for the very first time. This should be interesting. So this is gonna be a, definitely an experience for the man. Stay tuned. <laughs> So, Paul, I'm gonna show you kind of a good carnivore snack before we go, just to kind of break the fast and okay. get you rolling. So I got homemade broth. All I did was I had steak bones that I was eating over the last couple of months, and I stored them in a in a five gallon um, bag in my freezer. Mm -hmm. And then once the bag got totally full, I threw all the bones in a crock pot with water and salt. Mm -hmm. And so this is literally all that. Now, I've talked about this before. If you if you look at this, you can see on the top all the fat, all the rendered fat from the actual broth mm -hmm. that, that came out. We're gonna scrape that off because if you eat this liquefied fat, mm -hmm. it can it can trigger your gallbladder and you're just mm. no bueno for the uh, for the gut. Yeah. So we'll take that off. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you a taste of grass-fed suet. This does not look the best. Oh, but literally, boy. what you do is this is kidney fat. This is grass fed beef kidney fat. Mm -hmm. It's not cooked down, it's not rendered. So, your gut can tolerate a lot of this mm. and it can get your macros really up for the fat intake. Right. And so, I'm going to warm this up into a bowl. So, you'll have this with, with salt. Shout out to Real Salt because they've just, they, they do um, a really clean salt with a lot of good minerals. So, mm -hmm. we're going to put this in the, in the actual. Uh, bowl so you can do the collagen so yeah. I'll put in because I can do like a half spoon of this fine I find mm. that rendered fat is really what was triggering me most I think so with me too now yeah. now that you say all that it makes a lot of sense if you do like a lot of this it can be bad but like if you're yeah. just doing like a, a tablespoon you should be fine okay yeah. so I'm gonna do that and then these are from salt and thyme as well these are local uh, pastured eggs mm, okay. so we'll do have you had raw egg yolks? You started yeah, doing that, right? After, yeah. you saw, after yeah. you saw me and my grandpa? No, no, yeah, they taste great, man. So Actually, we'll, do, really we'll like at least them. do an egg mm -hmm. for the choline, the B vitamins, mm -hmm. um, the fat macro. Right. We'll, and, then, and then here's the mother of all. We're oh the, boy, uh, this I'm not too excited for. This is raw <laughs> beef liver. So I'm gonna give you half of this. This is about oh five ounces of liver for each of us. And that's gonna give you, I mean, you're not gonna need supplements today. You're going to be good to go on all right, your supplements. Right, yeah. The, the only thing we're missing, if I think about this, 
is actually more protein, which is mm. easy to get. Yeah. You know, and I like to save the protein for the end of the day. Right. Because it's a little heavier, satiating. Mm. I mean, the fat is too, but mm. I just find it's, if I'm going to like go out somewhere, it's probably going to be more protein heavy anyway. Interesting. And like getting the fat keeps me more in keto. Mm -hmm. So I like to do that more midday because mm -hmm. it just feels like I'm keeping the ketone levels higher mm -hmm. and I'm just eating more fat. Right. And then if I go to dinner somewhere, like if I go get a taco and I just want to eat the meat on it, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm not too worried about missing my fat macro. Mm -hmm. So right, right. kind of strategic and a little bit scientific on that, but. Playing devil's advocate and uh, yeah. having a question that maybe, you know, one of the users might ask as well. Yeah. By saving your protein consumption for the later part of the day, I love that, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Like probably when you eat a lot of protein at once like that, you probably are a little bit sleepier anyway, so it's good to push it back for later. Mm -hmm. You ever worry though, eating it in like one lump sum like that might trigger it to get converted into glucose by the liver? It will. But ah. keep in mind here, we're still doing protein. We're right. still getting liver. This is pretty much right. mostly protein. Mm -hmm. So we're getting plenty of, we're, we're not, and we're doing collagen. So we're, mm -hmm. we're gonna get like 30 or 40 grams of protein in this hit. Right. It's just, we're not going like a sirloin steak where it's like your, your macros are like 90% protein, 10% <laughs> fat, you know? Yeah, so totally. we're, 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 it's probably more like 60, 40 or mm -hmm. 30, 70, 30. Um, but it's something to keep in mind. <laughs> we could up the protein here, actually, if you want. I've got, oh yeah, he's look in there. Right. There's not much, there's a bottle of Dom. Kurt, see what Kurt Yazji eats every there's day. some Zevia Coils. I'm, I'm phasing out of those. I'm trying to get rid of the plastics in my diet. Ooh, I don't know if that's truly carnivore. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Some of that's for the guests. Right. So what I'm gonna do right now is get what we need to get warmed up. So I gotta grab, so the best way to take this stuff off, just, just scrape it with a knife. Just comes right off all that. Mm, nice. So just take that all off. Toss that. And look at this. There's so much collagen in here. Can you see how connected that is? Oh, it's like a gelatin. Boy. It's like it's like jello. That's like literally a lot of that is the collagen in there, the connective tissue and the glycine. Right. That you're getting from the, the broth. So I'm gonna tear this out. And then this is grams, and then we'll just see what we got. About 140 grams of college of bone broth for us mm -hmm. each. Mm -hmm. This in the microwave. About a minute. So, how much liver do you think that is? So if we go to ounces. I think that'd be eight ounces. Yeah, I feel half like that's pounds. about right. This cut right here, I'm gonna guess nine ounces. Now half five, now half. Nine, seven, five, five and a half. Here, 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 now half, here, 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 Oh, 3. wow. 3.7. It's a lot lower than we thought. Yeah, same here. So five ounces total. Wow, okay. So that's actually a lot lighter than we thought. But you only want to be eating about four ounces a week, right? No, no, no. Um, so that oh. myth was debunked. So you, wow. you don't need to be doing that. You can be okay. eating, you know, unless you're eating like polar bear liver, I guess there's a fear around vitamin A poisoning with polar bear. Oh, interesting. But if you're not doing that, you're fine. Mm -hmm. So for this, we're totally good, man. So what I like to do is just salt it up. And actually for this, I don't like the collagen. I like to use glycine. So this is glycine. So again, this is kind of one of those things you're balancing muscle meat with glycine. So I'll just grab a scoop of this. And can you explain why glycine is so important again? You caught me on a, on a topic that I can't give you a good technical answer to. Uh, I, know why, I know it is important, but I don't know the science behind it and I need to learn more about that. Glycine is a very inexpensive amino acid. You can buy it through bulk supplements online. You can, your body actually makes it, it's not essential, but you're probably not getting enough of it in your diet. And as you get older, it can be hard to keep up with the demands, especially on such a big, heavy muscle meat diet where you're taking a lot of your protein in through the, the carnivorous diet, you're gonna have a lot of methionine coming into your body and you wanna balance it with glycine. Okay. So there's a meth, 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 Methyl wheat? No, it's something else. What I'll do is I'll slice this up. Okay, Paul, so. Damn, you take him down and chunks that big? You don't have to. <laughs> oh no. Here you go. I will. All right. All right. So. I'll go with the four. Go for four it, smaller man. smaller ones. Oh boy. Oh boy. Should I shoot it or should I just? 
I shoot up, but you can shoot it. It's up to you. That's pretty big to sh shoot that. Mm. Okay. Not too bad? Not too bad. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was delicious at first. Then a bit of a weird aftertaste. Overall, not bad at all. Like, it almost tastes like sashimi sushi to some degree. With, like, the... At least with the salt. But, oh, man. Actually, that aftertaste... Pretty strong. Yeah, at least if you just try and chew it up. <laughs> I'm gonna try and swallow this one though. Okay. <laughs> but the salt and the glycine helps a lot, right? Oh, a ton. Yeah, you wouldn't want to take this down. Oh god. Opinion, oh like, god. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I'm gonna add just a bit of salt. Good move. Yeah. So here we have. Um, bone broth. So what I'm going to do, Paul, is I'm just going to, I'll prep it for you. Mm -hmm. We're going to take eggs and then with the eggs, what we do is we just kind of, we're just getting rid of the, the whites mm -hmm. and we're going for the yolks. The yolk is where you get most of the, uh, it's where you get the B vitamins, the choline. Mm. It's going to give you a lot of the nutrition. Yeah. And so what I do is I just dump it in the, uh, in there. So boom, you can mix oh. that into the broth <laughs> and that'll basically give you a nice little fat bomb with Ooh. all that and then we're gonna add a little we'll, we'll, we'll measure out a little bit of suet as well so in the whites uh there's a thing called avidin and it binds to b vitamins oh, okay. and so if you eat egg yolks or egg whites raw um you don't want to do that you don't want to cook them up so if you're gonna eat egg, egg whites mm. go for them um cooked gotcha gotcha so that's that we can mix that up um we're gonna put the suet in there Ooh. so i just gotta measure that okay. out a little bit too I'm gonna give you 50 grams. So you can try that. Man, 50 grams of suet. Wow. That's a lot of fat. I mean, that's something I just learned about carnivore recently by following Kurt was I did not have my macros close to the fat ratios that he has. It's 100 um, right there. 100 grams. So you can actually go probably closer to 70 to 75% fat intake to 30 to 25% protein. So this is the final product here. We've got a couple egg yolks. We've got the broth, salt, yes, and some collagen, oh, okay. and we're good to go. The collagen will add a little bit more texture to it. Mm -hmm. Let me try this out. Let's see what we've got. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, you try it. Let's do it. Let me mix it so up. So mix first. it up, yeah. Oh boy. I mean, it looks good. It smells great. <laughs> Let's take this out. Cheers. Oh boy. This guy's <laughs> oh boy. Tastes great. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, but not because it needs it. Just... You like it? Yeah. <laughs> I was worried about the flavor of the suet, but. Really it's not really a flavor, it's more of a texture, right? Yeah. I'm just getting like kind of fat trimmings in there. Yeah, just kind of creamy texture. 